guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a gift guide for guys. We all know that the men in our life are like impossible to shop for, but I feel like I've kind of done a good job the last few years. So I wanted to give you guys basically a list of everything I've done and then sort of ones that I would avoid at the end. So let's get started. So I'm gonna start with my boyfriend's gifts and then I'll move into my dad. I don't have a brother, so those are the only two men that I've ever had to buy presents for. Also a bit more specific, this is for like your classy sophisticated men. My boyfriend has that side where he does actually like quite fancy things. So I always like really encouraging that and that's the side that I get him the presents for. The first thing on my list is a chessboard, like a nice fancy one. I I got this one for my boyfriend I think last year it was about 50 pounds and I love it it's so elegant it's so nice for some reason all hot guys can play chess I don't know what it is it's just like when they're made in the hot guy factory they can play chess I need to work on my chess skills there is an app you can download which I need to actually like do and learn how to play chess because I think being able to play chess is like the coolest thing ever I really want to learn how to do it obviously only buy this if your boyfriend either already plays chess or he mentioned an interest in it because if you just get him a chess set I don't know he might be like uh what but also if you learn how to play chess or maybe you're new in the relationship and like you want a bit of a date night idea he can teach you how to play chess it's also like such a, an elegant staple in a home anyway so you're kind of buying yourself a present at the same time as getting him a present i got this one which is green and white pro tip they have so many like specific unique ones on etsy like if your boyfriend's into star wars or lord of the rings you can get specific ones for that you can get historical ones, you can get Greek gods one. I nearly got the Greek gods one, it looked really good. You can get some seriously fancy chessboards on Etsy. So yeah, that was my first one. Next one, again, a bit of a fancy one. Little men's fragrance set. All of my friends know I love teeny tiny like minis of things. So I always get my perfumes in sets of minis. I'm still finding out like what scents I like and having a discovery set, like they're normally called discovery sets, makes it so much easier to like figure out what you like and what you don't like. I have so many discovery scents. I think I did some videos on my channel already about like um, unboxing and testing someone's. So if you're interested, go check that out. The one I got for my boyfriend this year though was the Mont Blanc one. Finding this man a fragrance was so hard. It was for, I think his birthday this year, which was a few months ago. We were stuck in an airport for like six hours after our holiday to Italy for a wedding. And I was like, all right, this is it. Like I'd been trying to get him to go test Tom Ford perfumes for months not like it doesn't like going shopping and all that but we were in an airport so i was like all right that's it you're coming with me to the perfume section so i made him try all these different perfumes and he didn't like any of them like he did not like any of them we tried the tom ford ones turns out those ones are like what's the word androgynous so like men or women can wear them which is great for women if you want like a masculine scent but if you're a dude especially a dudey dude those androgynous scents are maybe like a little bit too feminine for you so we couldn't get the really nice tom ford one that i wanted to get which was vanilla and tobacco now i'm thinking i might just get it for myself i'm not sure so i know that my boyfriend already likes the brand mont blanc and i can't afford to buy anything from mont blanc i don't know if you've ever tried to go shopping in mont blanc it's impossible everything's so expensive but there was this little tester set. I don't know if it was on sale. It was 50 pounds and it had five different fragrances in it So I just bought it for him. I was like so fed up I was like babe, I'm getting you this and he was like cool We didn't try it. You can open it up But I already knew he liked the brand so I figured he, maybe the perfumes would be the same vibe turns out they were all of the perfumes smell amazing and he really liked the set and he actually wears them like now just like in the evening so also another present for me that's also technically for my boyfriend but when you get one of those like fancy brands i think it makes the guys feel like fancy i don't know i mean maybe i'm looking at this from a girl's perspective but he seems to have enjoyed it so a discovery set of perfume or something like that don't get in the links guys get something fancier like you can get some cheap discovery sets and it means you don't have to commit to actually buying a perfume that would be two or three times the price Discovery sets are where it's at, I'm telling you. Then that means when he's decided which one his favorite is, you get to give him another gift, which is the full-size bottle of the perfume. So it's two gifts for basically two seasons. These next two ones are for guys specifically who don't want more things. I hear that a lot, like, girls are like, oh, I don't know what to get for my boyfriend. He doesn't want things, like, he doesn't like clutter. My boyfriend is also the same. So what I got to, to get around that, I got him an organizer. I got him a watch organizer specifically. It's this one off Amazon, super easy, but it just looks fancy. I got this in black and then I also got the next one in black so it all matches. It's a way to keep their stuff organized, tidy, and it always looks fancy. Like it just looks nice. So they're gonna take pride in their stuff. And you haven't actually brought them really another thing. Techni I mean, technically you have, but it, it organizes things they already have. So I think it passes. Really closely linked to this, is 
I guess it would be a jewelry box, but I think, I can't remember what this is called on Amazon, it will be on the screen now, but it's, I sort of got this to be like a cufflink organizer, and I know cufflinks are the most boring present ever, I know, because I gave my dad cufflinks like three times growing up, and even I was buying them, like, this is boring, why am I doing this? But I did get my boyfriend a set of cufflinks to go in this, so it's like, if you got a jewelry box and then you got jewelry in it, I know girls would freak out, so again, maybe I'm doing this from a girl's perspective, but it was at, at the very least, it was useful to organize stuff, and now he's a little shelf thing looks super tidy so great for everyone okay another thing that I have thought about getting my boyfriend but didn't this is maybe a bit of a bigger budget one but you could treat your boyfriend to a new set of pots and pans if they're into cooking my boyfriend is a massive cook and he's really good at it which helps and we in our kitchen we have the most jumbled selection of pots and pans plates everything nothing matches it actually drives me insane so I was thinking of getting him a new set of pots and pans I was gonna get this white one I didn't in the end that's not what I got him for Christmas also because this is a bit of a more expensive one like you can get really nice sets but they're pretty expensive but a great gift like 10 out of 10 gift if you can't afford that then you can maybe just get I don't know if your boyfriend's into cocktail, make him get him a cocktail set, whiskey taking, like something in the kitchen that is a set, I think is always a really nice gift. I inherited a cocktail making set from my little sister. She got given one, I think she was only like 19 or 20 and her friend got her one and she was like, I've never had a cocktail in my life. She gave it straight to me. So I've had this cocktail set and it's actually gorgeous. Like I know it wasn't a gift for me, but it was a great idea for my sister. <laughs> Just maybe got the wrong sister. Okay, this is a pretty niche one, but can probably apply to all sorts of guys. Wait, I'm gonna start with a pro tip. Pro tip, listen to what your boyfriend talks about as his favorite past Christmas presents, and then get him something in the same vein as that. So my boyfriend loves any movie props that he's gotten from his cousin or from his family or whatever. We have them dotted around our house we just have little like movie prop replicas um they're more for display so obviously like i'm not talking like star wars helmets and stuff like that i'm talking about like really nerdy specific ones but if you can find a decent one then this will be such a like great gift i've got one in mind for my boyfriend and i think he might be watching this so i'm not gonna say what it is but maybe next summer i will have saved up enough money to get it but it's to do with movies and like that kind of stuff especially if your boyfriend has his favorite like childhood movie you can get him something to do with that it doesn't have to be big it doesn't have to be flashy like i think the one we've got is this weird kangaroo from pulp fiction i don't know i mean it kind of goes with the decor and it's not awful or anything so i quite like it and it's got a cool story behind it so yeah listen to what your boyfriends and dads talk about as their favorite past presents and then get something like that okay now i'm going to move on to the presents that i've got specifically for my dad what i do also when i'm planning christmas presents is from about honestly i'd say i keep this list all year round i keep a little list of things that say that people say that they want and then i get them for their birthday and their and christmas so my dad at some point mentioned that he wanted to try like tea straining like you know those teas that come just loose like loose leaf tea straining he mentioned that he wanted that so i wrote it down on my phone i think he mentioned it once and i got it for him and he was so chuffed I got him this little teapot clear thing from, I don't remember, Wittards. I got it from Wittards. I got this one, this glass one. And then I got him a set of three different teas, I think. And he loved it. He's obsessed with it. My mom's kind of mad because he's always making tea in it. But that means that I keep getting to like re-give him different types of tea. And it's kind of this present that like keeps going. So on birthdays, I can get him a new set. I'm going to see my parents actually tomorrow for Thanksgiving. And I'll be giving him another set of English breakfast tea. And it's just this like little gift that keeps going so people don't forget about it. And it's nice, like if you use a gift that you got every day, I feel like that's really nice. Like it makes you think of that person. So that is an obscure one, but you could just get, you know, a coffee set, a coffee grinder, or maybe like a coffee pod machine or something like that. And then just give them new coffee pods every time something like that. The next thing that I got my dad was a travel bag. I got this one, I think it was, I cannot for the life of me remember the, the brand. Hugo Boss? No, I don't remember what the brand was, but I'll put it up here anyway. I got my dad this travel bag because he had loads of travel plans this year. So last Christmas it was like, oh, in the next year I'm gonna have so many travel plans. So I got him this bag and he felt so fancy because ever since I was a kid he had the same awful duffel bag. So I got him an upgrade of it and he felt fancy because he would never have got it for himself but it was kind of vital like guys i suppose if you think about it guys can be quite easy to shop for you just find like the most worn out thing maybe not the most worn out thing because that might be sentimental the second most worn out thing that they own and just get a nicer more updated version of it so yes this bag it's also so nice like it looks so fancy like this buying this for my dad did make me want to get myself a travel bag like it's so nice and it fits so much um so 10 out of 10 reviews for that 
good idea. And then you can also get a little travel set and put it in there. I think my sister got a travel set to go with it. Okay, I have one more thing to say. This is an honorable mention, skincare for men. Now, I know this is controversial for me um, because I did get my boyfriend some nice skincare last year and you know who used the entirety of it? Me. If you're dating like a super duty dude, it might not be the best thing. Like my boyfriend, super duty, he's never gonna put a moisturizer on unless I'm making him put it on. So in hindsight, it was a bit of a stupid idea, but I have friends who like get their boyfriend's bougie skincare all the time and they love it. So it depends on your boyfriend, but personally, I just don't think it means as much to men as it does to us. If somebody gave me a skincare set, I'd be like over the moon. But for men, I think I got my boyfriend like a Clinique set or something like that. And I used the whole tube of moisturizer. So wasn't that useful. I've also thought about getting beard oil for my boyfriend, but he already has beard oil, so that was kind of already checked off. Um, and I feel like any dude who already has a beard probably already has beard oil. If he doesn't have beard oil, then get him beard oil as his girlfriend, it's your duty. But in theory, he should have one already, to be honest. So guys, those are my gifts for men. I know this isn't like everything. It, it was just examples of what I've got in the past. Um, that definitely worked. So these are tried and tested presents they did actually work and the guys actually like them and I feel like they are a bit individual they're not just socks and you know Star Wars paraphernalia stuff like that anyway let me know what you're getting your dads and your boyfriends this year so subscribe if you like vlogmas because I'll be putting out loads of Christmassy videos over the month of December and I'm so excited I love vlogmas anyway you guys thank you so much for watching this far in the video if you liked it subscribe otherwise I'll see you in the next one bye